about all the other champions in that division. You got Scott Quinn, Carl Frampton, here on Marie Diaz. I'm going to get the opportunity, boy. You're working your ass off, don't you? Hey, that's what we do. Uh, I, that's what we do. Yeah, there's boxing nation. I see it, baby. Y'all the man. That's, that's what it is. Yeah, I love it. I love what you're doing for boxing. Thank you, man. Don't, don't stop. Keep on going strong. Keep on going on. A lot of big fights coming this year. A lot of big fights. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So congratulations to Danny Swift Garcia. He gets the job done, knocks out Danny Swift Garcia. He started off, to me, just a little slow. He didn't look extremely fresh in the first couple rounds. It looked to me as the rounds progressed, Danny Garcia, he started to get more in the rhythm and his groove. One thing I did notice that I didn't really like that much is Danny Garcia, he was mainly head hunting, And all he was really trying to do was just land a hard haymaker. He wasn't really setting too much stuff up. Every now and then he would set some stuff up. Like I remember one time uh, around the early rounds, maybe the second or the third round, he threw a jab to the solar plexus of Vargas and then came up top with an overhand right and that kind of staggered Vargas. But then he went back to head hunting and just throwing hard hooks. He wasn't really setting anything up. And if he does that against Keith Thurman, he may be in trouble. But truly, I don't think he's going to do that against Keith Thurman. I think we're going to see the best Danny Garcia. I mean, we haven't really seen the best Danny Garcia probably since the Matisse fight. At least as far as facing tough competition, right? So I believe that when he fights against Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman is going to bring the best out of Danny Garcia. I believe Danny Garcia, he's going to be a little cautious. Not too cautious, but he's going to be cautious enough to prevent himself from being knocked out. Now, that's not to suggest he won't get knocked out or even Keith Thurman won't get knocked out. But I believe that Danny Garcia, he's going to be a lot more cautious, like he was in the Matisse fight. Danny Garcia, he's always been known as the aggressor. But when he faced Lucas Matisse, he was the boxer in that fight. So um, I see a little bit of both, a little bit of give and take in a Danny Garcia versus Keith Thurman fight. I think if Danny Garcia would have been setting up more jabs or setting up combination with more jabs and going to the body, Errol Spence style, I think he could have got Vargas out of there a lot earlier. But nevertheless, he gets the job done. Immediately following the fight, Danny Garcia, he went after Keith Thurman, who was calling the fight, and I did a separate video talking about that little exchange between them two that was pretty heated, so go ahead and check that video out, but that's pretty much all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo!